to Ed Davey. Can I join the Prime Minister in his comments about Remembrance Sunday? We must always remember the brave British men and women who gave their lives for our country. And can I join him in welcoming the Conservative leader to her place? And can I congratulate her on becoming the first black leader of a UK-wide party, a major and historic achievement? Mr Speaker, President-elect Trump praised Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. And I quote, he called it genius. He also said he would encourage Russia to do whatever the hell they want to NATO allies. So what action is the Prime Minister taking to encourage a Trump presidency to change its mind? Because otherwise, it's a huge threat to global security and to national security in the UK. Does he agree with me that the US will not oppose President Putin and support our brave Ukrainian allies, the UK must lead in Europe so that together we do. <laughs> Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm very proud that in this House we are united on the question of Ukraine and clear about Russian aggression, and we will continue to do so. I've long taken the view that the only winner, if we are divided in this House, is Putin, and I'm not prepared to let that happen. Our relationship uh, with the US is a strong relationship forged in very difficult circumstances historically. It remains as strong today as it was when it was first forged, and I look forward to working with President elect Trump to ensure that relationship stays a special relationship. Shred David. I'm grateful for Prime Minister's comments on Ukraine, but Donald Trump has also said that trade wars are good. He calls himself tariff man. People are really worried that Trump trade wars and tariff will damage our economy, damage businesses, and hit the cost of living here in the UK. So, given this, does the Prime Minister recognise that it's more urgent than ever that we support our British economy by get a, getting rid of the damaging trade barriers with Europe put in place by the Conservatives? Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, as you will know, we put the economy um, centrepiece uh, to our budget, um, and we will do everything that we need to do to ensure our economy grows, and that's measured in living standards going up for working people across the country. Thank you.